Welcome back live inside Studio 10. We have a staggering statistic for you. Check this out. Over 7,000 seemingly healthy children between the ages of 6 and 18 die in the United States each year from sudden cardiac arrest, a disease whose first symptoms 80% of the time would be a fatal collapse. But it's a disease that can also be caught ahead of time by a relatively simple cardiac screening. And here today to talk more about this is Dr. Gul Dadlani, Medical Director of Pediatric Cardiology at All Children. Hospital. Welcome, doctor. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the uh, opportunity to come in today. So if 80% of everybody that has this, the first time they find out about it, they die, how do you prevent something that's just so pervasively uh, threatening? Well, there's many causes of sudden cardiac death. Uh, the leading cause of sudden cardiac death is a condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, where the heart thickens inappropriately. And about 1 in 500 people will have that in the community. And uh, many of those will go unrecognized. The most common time that the heart starts to thicken is in the teenage years as they start to hit puberty and the hormones of puberty start to activate the heart. And uh, so many athletes um, that are participating in high school sports um, or in college sports um, will start to have thickening of the heart, not recognize that, and then suffer from sudden cardiac death. So this, it isn't something that happens very, very quickly. It happens over time. It's just that the end result is so tragic. Is so tragic. And many times there's no symptoms that lead up to it. There are, are other causes of sudden cardiac death, such as other rhythm problems and things like that. But um, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the leading cause of um, sudden cardiac death in the United States. So an electrocardiogram can screen for this. What does it exactly look for? Sure. When we um, Typically, as we, the national standard for screening has always been taking a good um, personal and family history, um, looking for other relatives or other signs and symptoms that may predispose you uh, for that. Uh, we would, uh, with the Safe Beat Initiative, which is the program that's running uh, currently now in Hillsborough County, uh, we've added to the personal and family history uh, screening EKG. Other countries have used EKG, national EKG screening um, programs such as Italy and have been able to reduce uh, the risk of sudden cardiac death. An EKG um, looks at the electrical activity of the heart and can pick up abnormal heart rhythms or can pick up thickening of the heart. So because this isn't something that necessarily shows symptoms early on, is this considered preventative screening? It is preventative screening so that if an abnormality is, is detected on the screenings, it can potentially save the life of that child. And many times, um, patients that have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, there will be other family members affected, so it can also save the lives of other family members mm -hmm. um, if, if a child is detected with that. So if someone does, if it is detected that they are prone to this, what types of things, what, what types of lifestyle changes does someone have to make? Um, for many children... Or maybe it's medication, I don't know. Yeah, there are medications that you can take um, to prevent um, or slow the progression of the thickening. Um, some people with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy can need pacemakers or defibrillators placed, and some over time can also lead to needing a heart transplant over their lifetime. There's not a current cure for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Now, it sounds like this would maybe be a costly test also. I mean, is this something that is going to be readily accessible for, you know, people in the right, or who, in the right age range or who have maybe a family history? Well, the um, Safe Beat Initiative is run through the um, Cardiac Arrhythmia Syndrome Foundation. And that foundation is a nonprofit organization that um, the founders of that have had a personal loss of a child. Mm -hmm. um, and they have donated um, their own personal money and are raising money to be able to fund free EKG screening uh, for high school students in the region here that's in the fantastic. Tampa Bay area. So. And that's the target group you were saying that, that is most uh, likely to, to demonstrate this. It but is the target group. So about how many screenings are we talking about here are going to be, are going to be done? Uh, uh, they will uh, offer screenings at all of the uh, Hillsborough County high schools. Um, they're doing seven this year, and then in the fall we'll pick up with the rest. Um, over time and they're free they're voluntary and uh, you know we would encourage families if they're interested uh, to participate uh, in that and you know we do recognize that um, there are multiple causes of, of car sudden cardiac death um, but EKG screenings can um, are very good at detecting the leading cause which is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy um, but there may be other um, 
more rare causes um, that, that may not be picked up with EKG screenings. And we hope that um, when we look at um, this project, it, it can be a model to be used in other areas as well throughout the state and hopefully more nationally. What grade level is going to be targeted with this? Uh, is it going to be all high school students? Is it going to be a particular They're doing grade? 9th through 12th grade. 9th through 12th grade. Okay. So really that kind of runs the gamut of it high does. school students. Mm -hmm. And we understand uh, Tony Dungy is a big uh, fan and supporter of yours. He was. He, he Well, he came out to um, help the initiative kick off at Plant High School. And, um, you know, he's had an athlete uh, when he was a coach that um, had one of these episodes. You know, we've also um, heard in the news former Bucks players having, mm -hmm. um, you know, sudden cardiac death. Uh, there was also a uh, University of Central Florida student, you know, that passed away um, from sudden cardiac death. So sudden cardiac death hits all communities throughout the United States. Um, it, it is there. It is real. And we hope that with this initiative that we can prevent some of those, co some of those patients from undergoing sudden cardiac death. Well, with free screenings throughout uh, the Bay Area schools, I mean, you, it's a no-brainer. Take no advantage. Take yeah. full advantage of this. If nothing else, it'll save you money for a doctor's appointment, right? Exactly. And uh, safebeat.org, again, is the website for you to learn more about this. And you can also go to studio10.tv, and we will link you directly there. Thank you, doctor. Thanks, Thank doctor. You. I appreciate it. So, we thanks, appreciate